Okay, this morning, um, we don't have, we're, we're filming this series with Cody called Cody Go Back. She's not here this morning. Um, it's Monday morning and Ben is, ben is here. So we're, instead of, we're gonna do Cody later, which is fine because it's real overcast and, and foggy today. Um, kind of starting to feel a little bit of that shift towards like a fall-like feel, which is really nice. Um, I thought what we would do is we filmed some stuff with the puppy Bella, and I thought what we would do is <clears throat> show you some stuff um, that I'm actually doing with our dogs. So we've got Spry, Ellie, and Taylor. Um, I thought I'd show you what, what I'm working on with them. Um, it's not just the first day we've been doing it. We're working on it constantly with them. Um, they are probably a little less consistent than the other dogs um, just because of schedule. Those other dogs usually get worked first and sometimes we just don't get to these guys. Um, they're a little bit further along. Spry's two and a half years old. She's gonna be six and uh, her birthday is in like two days. And then um, Ellie here turns four in September. So, but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you, so we, we tilled this up this weekend and planted it with millet. <clears throat> and, and I took the skid steer and I kind of built this little berm. Um, and what our plan is, is this fall, last fall, <clears throat> I took that pond and I planted all the way around it and then we flooded the pond and we flooded up over the banks and the flat areas. And we've got some um, horny, horny buck seed, makes a seed called horny duck seed, which is some millets and different it's a mix of stuff that's what we have in there and so we're going to flood that and i have soybeans in there with it as well we're still going to do that this year and i fill that pond with a from my well but then what we're going to do is we're going to take a pump and we're going to pump out of that pond and we're just going to flood this low spot and we're going to plant it and mill it um, now and we'll flood it and then we're going to hunt out of it here and we'll be able we should be able to catch um last year we shot some shot some ducks out of it in the mornings it's a real easy way for me to get some reps in with these young dogs cody will be one of the dogs that we do that with kind of early in the year um, so but what what i want to do and i talked about it this weekend on our instagram story was i had these i had <clears throat> taylor and and spry with me i was on another property that we that we train on with a big lake a uh, big pond and we're tilling up um some acreage there and we're going to plant barley <clears throat> there's geese that are there there'll be ducks that use it so we're putting barley in right next to the water um and so we worked on that this weekend and i had the dogs with and one of the things i said on instagram was we're turning training grounds into hunting grounds soon <clears throat> that's what we're doing here so we're we're gonna shoot doves in a couple weeks here um, we're gonna shoot ducks in a, in a month or so here um, the nice part about it is is we can control that's a transit I look at that as transitional training because we're actually gonna train here and then hunt here um, and so for me it's a huge advantage of getting from training to hunt I think there's a big um, <clears throat> step there it's a big difference there's a lot of uncontrolled things that happen when you go on the hunt that you need to be prepared for we're able to control it a lot um, by practicing where we're gonna play if you will so we're gonna I'm gonna show you that how we do that this morning now one of the things we're gonna do is <clears throat> as I I sit here and I think of the scenarios from a hunting standpoint you know birds are gonna be setting into this stuff but it doesn't necessarily work that way all the time sometimes we're passing sometimes I uh, miss a few shots and I'm shooting at a bird that's flying away and so there's spots around here chances of pick if all I did was set up retrieves where they picked up in this millet uh, it'd be super simple they would do really well and they'd look really good and I'd think oh we're ready the problem is is that's not likely the way it's gonna happen when we actually hunt so I'm gonna use <clears throat> incorporate some of our memory drills with these guys um, I'm reading a book right now the it's called the the guns dog it's Graham Cox I'm really enjoying it. it's very simple um, it's not earth-shattering as far as concepts it's reassuring and re reinforcing of some of the stuff that um, I need to have not overlook terribly simple stuff that I need to not overlook and he stresses I just read a chapter last night he stresses the idea of these memories we use memories more than anything in our training so I'm gonna set up memories and to work on the development of the skill of these dogs to remember uh, retrieves 
multiple retrieves. And because of this is where we'll be hunting out of, we're gonna rig up a kind of a, a blind in this area. So we're gonna work out of this as our hub. So this will be in our center. So I'm gonna set up a pretty good sized circle memory. I'm gonna put birds behind, out in front, in the corners, around. I've got tall cover in here. Um, there's roads that have been mowed into this tall cover. So there's gonna be some, some obstacles, some barriers, some things to cross. Uh, there'll be berms that are gonna to have to come up and over. So we're gonna use this as a training area for us this morning and set up. I've got a bag full of bumpers. Um, I'll be sure in the heavy cover to be using feathered bumpers. Got to get these guys using their noses and, and allowing them to find success that way. So I'm just going to have Ben film. This is a very, very natural setup for me. Um, this is the way I would um, train with these guys any other time. Now, some of this stuff is going to be too much for some of these dogs uh, and some of it will be easy for Taylor. Um, and so I'll have to gauge and vary. I like working multiple dogs together when they get to this age because A, they can without a lot of distraction. They don't mess with each other. And the second part is, is they really learn not only when it's their turn to retrieve, are they gaining something, but they're gaining something when they're honoring the other dogs retrieve. So we're building in that steadiness and patience, very realistic to our hunts. Um, so I'm gonna incorporate the water too. Uh, I've got a couple dummies that are not wrapped in feathers that I'll put into the water um, because there's a very good chance that you might shoot one and it drops into that water. So we will send to the water as well. So I'm gonna start out. I have to be careful. Uh, some of the things I've been doing lately, especially with Ellie, I've been a little aggressive with my angles. I've been real tight with my angles, probably tighter than I should be with her because I haven't worked on it. It's one of her weaknesses that I wanna work on. I haven't worked on it enough. And so I find myself pushing the limits a little bit and then finding her in a little bit of a troublesome spot. Um, and I have to fix those on, at that moment. And we don't really gain a lot out of it. Um, we confuse a little bit. And so I gotta be careful not to put her in positions that are too tight that they confuse her in this drill and instead <clears throat> recognize that and go work on that specific drill with her later. Um, and work on fixing that problem. Then we can apply it. This is a, this is what I consider like an application. Um, we're applying a lot of skills into these setups. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna circle around and I'm gonna put a dummy on the other side of that water. And to start out, because of these guys don't do this often, I don't cross the water as much as I should with them. I don't do a ton of water work with them. I should. So that we're gonna start out very simple. We're gonna do a circle memory around this pond. I'm gonna put bumpers on that point and we're gonna send the dog across and get the dog back and I'm gonna start right at the water's bank send her across and then I'll extend it out so that they're hitting the water I don't want them running around the pond I want them going into the water um, so I'm gonna take all three of them and heal them around heal so we're gonna work our way just around the edge of this field <clears throat> I just think this is also really good um, it's very realistic to when we go hunting and we're walking around fields, we're walking around edges, we're setting up decoys, all that stuff. One thing I could have and should probably incorporate is some decoys into this pond. I don't usually do it because my dogs don't mess with decoys much. Um, they've seen it. But when I start with these young dogs like Bella, we'll start doing that. This is another spot here that last year we kind of had set up as a blind when we hunted over this little pond here. Um, so this is another spot that we may work out of um, making some retrieves. But so I'm gonna, we're just gonna work our way around. This is the area that we flood in. This is all stuff, uh, there's soybeans in here, but the other stuff in here is stuff that, some of it came from that horny buck seed mix. Some of it's just weeds. But we'll flood this, here's our water line that we flood with. So as we work around, I'm not too worried about these dogs on heel. Uh, I'll pay attention to it, but that's with the value of having solid heel work. Uh, 
I am going to put one on the edge of the water there. Then I like to drop them in la on land. I like to have them go across water and have to hunt up onto the land. So I'll put three in here. Thank you. Actually, because we're going to do these short, I'm going to put four. So I just kind of, you can see I kind of just peppered this area. Uh, one is in the water. I might even put a second out in the open. And you can see these two really are looking. Give them a chance to get that picture in their mind. Taylor, watch, watch, heal. And we'll heal them off of it. Now, with spry, so I'm gonna work spry here to start out. Sit and have Ellie watch. Taylor, Taylor, I feel real confident with sending probably from the blind area. To, for spry here, I wanna start out with a shot to the water. She sit. Spry heel. Give her a little, give her a little look. And as she goes, I'm gonna to start to back up then. Ellie, Taylor here. So she should she should pick without switching. Good. Good. Come on. Good. And then I'll give her a little bit more distance on the retrieve. Ellie, come here. Ellie. Sit. Come on. Good. Good, right here, right here, 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 here. Good. Dead. Now we'll turn her back around. Right. No, here. That's what we do not want. So you gotta go right back. Right. Right. Good. Good. Go back. No, here. This is where we don't do a lot of water work with her. Sorry. Good. Good. So we just take little bites at a time. Move her back five feet, send her. Good. Good, good. Now I don't care, I don't trial, I don't do competition stuff, so I'm, I'm not nearly as picky about her on banks, but I don't think it makes sense for her to run around, come on, run around this pond to make a pick. It makes sense for her to go straight across. And it goes back to the fundamentals of her lining. Come on, she's gotta run a straight line despite any type of a, of a barrier. Well, this is just like a barrier. So now, now she can't see them, but she does know there's, she's, she should know there's more out there. You sit. Her head's turning to the left, come on. Sorry, 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 go back. No, heal. She's super hesitant, so this is a mental thing for her. Spry, 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 spry. Come on, here. So she doesn't see it in the water and she's going, I don't know that I should go into the water. Spry, good, good. So we get her right to the edge and she goes. So we're just gonna have to build on that. Now she's gonna have to pick one from land and I'm gonna have to get on her quickly to make sure she comes back through the water. 
Good. 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 No, no. Here, here, here. Good. Good dog. Good girl. Good girl. Good. So I'm not even gonna be in that big of a rush to back her up. I just wanna get clear clear this out. Good. Good dog. Here. Hold. Hold. Good. Dead. Good. 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 Good dog, good dog. Good girl, go back, go back, good. So this is that part of going back to the same spot over and over and over again. Good, good, good. Good girl, very good. Now she doesn't think twice about the coming back. So it's going out now. Now that's the second one on land. She's got three, one more to stick over there. Good. Good girl. Good dog. Come on. Good girl. Here, here. Good, right here. Come on. Come on. Good. Dead. Good. Good. Heel. Good. Sorry. 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 Come on. Sorry. Sorry. Come on. Sorry. Good girl. Go back. Go back. No, 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 no. Come on. And that, you can see I'm just getting kind of loose with her. I'm not, all I'm trying to do is get her enthusiasm up so far high that she can't help but just go. I think she knows what to do. She just doesn't have the confidence to do it. Sorry. Sorry. Good girl, that's a good girl. You can see her take off on that one. Good dog, her confidence is building. Good girl. Good. Good dog. Very good, I'm gonna have her retrieve it all the way back. It's the last one, good. Come on. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Come on. Come on. Good. Good dog. Here, here, here. Did good. Good. Sit. Sorry. Sorry. Sit. Sit. Ellie heel. Taylor sit. Now, that's just step one with her. Like I said, we've never done this drill, so this is all new. Um, it's not something that we have practiced. So it's something that we should practice and probably will practice leading up to um, a month from now when we're actually hunting. So <clears throat> it's great practice for her. And so we'll reset it up without doing the circle. We'll set it up for Ellie with actual marks. So I leave that last one short to give her the visual the first time and then we'll send her back for it. So I'm gonna do it basically the same way I did spry. I'm gonna start here, and then if I can, I'll just add a little, add a little, add a little. <clears throat> Ellie. Ellie being a little bit older dog, a little more, little more confident, a little more experience. Good. You can see her take a peek there. She knows there's other ones up there. She kind of takes a look, turns around, comes back, especially with the help of the whistle, which is what we want. 
Good. A little hard on our beans out here, aren't we? Good. Good dog. Here. Here. Hold. Hold right here. Hold right here. Right here. Did. We gotta work on her with her delivery, a little bit more front. So from here, we're gonna go a second. Now with her, I threw three on land and one on water, right? So four total. So this time we back up. It's not much, it's five yards, but it's a land running start. Ellie. And I'll back up another five. Good. Good dog. Good dog. Good. Go on. Hold. Hold. Here. I want her to deliver to the front. Hold. Did. Good. So now we've got two out of four. We back up another 10 yards. Ellie. Good. Good dog, very good. Back her up again. Good girl. Good girl. Good, here. Good dog. Good, hold, hold right here, hold. Dead. And then we'll send her for the last one. It's the first one that's really out of sight. She can't see up over that hill. So this is closer to, we shoot one, it sails, it lands on the other side of the pond. Now we've just built it in with three other ones to make sure that this one's successful. Ellie, go back. Good. There's one over there, isn't there? Did I just send her on a... Good. Good girl. It's a mistake I have made before. Sent a dog on a dummy that wasn't there. So yeah, I gotta be careful of that. Good dog. And so this time she'll make the retreat back to the blind. And the whole while, these two waited quietly and patiently. Good dog, hold, hold. So I cut her off when she wants to go to my left. Did. Sit, good. Now, we'll leave Taylor there. And you can't, it's maybe a little hard to see from Ben's perspective or from that other camera, but as this crown, as this hill crowns these, where these bumpers are, she can't see. So I'm gonna go back over with them. A little short on the last one and put it in the water. I'm gonna go back and we'll send Taylor started out from here. Now I, I don't expect to have any issue with Taylor from back here. If we do, then I move forward and I'll reset it. It's the difference between Ellie and the difference between Spry is a year and a half. 
it's a lot it's a big difference so um, i was real happy with the way ellie handled it come here ellie come here i probably set it up easier simpler to start out with sit only because of spry's troubles um and so spry doesn't have nearly the experience um ellie doesn't have a ton of experience on water Ellie, or Spry has less. So I probably had to set that up easier for Spry than Ellie and likewise with Taylor. But so with Taylor, I want to send her. Now I'm going to bring these two dogs back. Ellie, come here. Ellie, come here. Ellie, come on. Spry, come here. I want these two out of the way. Ellie, come on. Sit. And I'm going to send it realistically to how I would send Taylor. Taylor. Go back, go back, go back. Here. So let's take steps forward. She's gonna go straight line to it. Taylor, Taylor, go back. Good. That should be about the only fix we need. Now, she didn't see the dummies. She saw them in the air, she didn't see where they landed. So she's got a gauge. There's one in the water that she clearly didn't see. Let's see if she hunts that, if she sees that before she gets out or not. And she did. Good. Come on. Now, I'll just take a little bit bigger chunk off of that distance wise knowing that she's got the line into the water now. That's a perfect example of, it doesn't make sense for her to veer around and run it. She knew she had to get to the other side, doesn't make sense. So it was her being a little bit lazy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And it was her, her being pushed by a, a barrier. So if this, if that were a fence, I wouldn't, it's not acceptable for her to run around the fence. It's just a, it's just a wet fence is all it is here. Here, come on. See how her head is. She's not ready to take this. Get ready? Watch, watch. Taylor, let's, Taylor, good, good, good girl, good. 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 Same thing. Just wanted to see if she could get away with it. Good dog. Now, her and Spry, mom and daughter, they're very similar. They've got, now, is it something that we can work on to get better at? For sure, should we? For sure, do we? Not enough, not often enough. So that's why we're doing it here. Good, come on. So to fix to fix that thing, we would do a specific, we'd specifically work on going across the water and coming back. Come on, and we probably link it together by breaking it apart. Good, and then connecting those chains of that link after. Craig, my buddy Craig Corp, talked to me about that, about how back linking, or I think he calls it, or back chaining is what he calls it. But that's what we that's what we would do. That's what we should do to get in better get better at this. Heel, heel. So I'm gonna stretch her out on her last one. Good. Ready, ready. back go back go back here here I'm not gonna accept that half-ass run come here come on come on 
Come on. Come on. You can tell she, she, this is a habit of hers that we haven't seen for some time. Heel. A little bit of lack of confidence, probably. A little bit of laziness, probably. Ready. Taylor. Taylor. Good. 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 I was watching that bank and about to blow the whistle. If she had taken the bank, I'd have blown the whistle. So interesting that she takes the line she took, probably the way I had her lined. Go back. Looks for a little bit of help there, I'll give it to her. Good dog. Good dog, come on. Good dog. A little slower working dog she is. Real easily handled by just about anyone. Good. Come on. Good. Come on. Come on. Very good. Very good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Good girl. Good. Dead. Good. Now, sit. What we'll do, Ben, is we're going to set up. I'm going to throw one over there. I'm actually going to throw a couple over there. I'll throw three over there. We're going to leave them. Then we're going to set up a big circle here. We're going to leave these alone and we're going to work on these. And then we're going to come back to that one at the end. So we're going to get a real nice little session in with these guys this morning. Um, it'll take a little bit longer, but that's because there's three of them. I could speed, if I had just one of them, we'd, this would go a little bit quicker. But the value is those two over there got, and, well, all three of them had the chance um, to honor another dog and to be patient and watch. Heel, spry, heel, Ellie, Ellie heel. So to start this out, I'm going to come over to this bank. I want them to see this. There's one, two, and three. Heel. And now Ben will move around. Heel. I'm gonna pitch to here for one. Now I've got one, two, three, I got five left. So I'm just gonna leave that one there, heel. We're gonna circle around this, walk down to the end of this field. Heel. Heel. I throw two there, and then I'm going to leave a third there. You. So I got to remember, I got one, two, and three. I've got them spread out a little bit. My goal or my objective is going to be get the dogs in this corner and let them hunt. Heel. Now the one thing I get a little nervous is when I watch Taylor when we set these up, she doesn't pay very good attention. That could come back to haunt her. Now we're gonna come back around here. We're gonna get into this tall grass. 
Again, my idea with this drill is replicate a little bit more realistic hunting. So this grass is stripped, it's cut in strips, so they're gonna have to go through quite a bit here. I'm gonna put it right at the point. I'm gonna put two dummies right here at the point, come here. Maybe that's why she wasn't focusing. Here, here, here. Two feathered dummies. Heel. Now, it is terrible with mosquitoes and deer flies right now. So that is hard on them and me. We're gonna come back around to that blind spot, the location where we had the blind and we'll send from there. So we just walked this circle, this it really a loop. Got three in the water, across the water, one there, three in the corner, two in that far corner. That far corner is gonna be a little bit tricky with the angle, with the berm and all that stuff. So what I wanna do is, I'm letting some time pass. That's adding to the memory. Uh, it's the point, one of the points of this drill is build up this dog's memory. Um, I think at a certain point it becomes almost like a blind for them because they just, they don't remember that far back. But, and I have to realize that, but I think the goal is to try to extend that length of memory. This is probably the easiest one. Um, I think I'm gonna leave that one. I'm gonna send to the long, one of those long three. I need to be careful, that's the last one in their mind. So let's take Ellie, because Ellie struggled a little bit with her angles the other day. Let's use her. I'll send her from right in front of the camera here, Ben. Does that work? I'm gonna, but I'm gonna be careful, and last time I did it, so these two sit, Ellie heel, Ellie. One of the things that I struggled with, uh, Ben and I worked these dogs last week, and I realized it after was, I sent her through a pretty tight angle where there was a clump here with a dummy in it and a clump here with two dummies in it and a clump way out here that I, had, that I was trying to send her through the middle. <clears throat> and she was drawn to the last bird in that clump. And I think it was because it was fresh in her mind. It was relatively tight. She had, it was tempting, a lot of suction to it. And I didn't really, I didn't think about it, but I never, I never knowed her off of it. And I should have, I should have done that. I should have said, leave it and lined her for the second. So I'm going to make a point here. And this one's just going to be a hard one, no matter what, because barrier, barrier, two different types of change of, of grass, but this one's going to be hard to begin with, but no, leave it. And see how her little head goes. I think that registers with her well. No, leave it. Ellie. She did really well on that. Good girl. Very good. She did real well on it. Good dog. So, you know, her struggle last week with it. Here, here, here. Whose fault do you think that was? Eh, I'll take the blame. Good hold. Dead. So that was a real nice line that she took. Now, I'm gonna send her for that one. Heel. No, leave it. Heel. I think she's gonna go that way. Heel. So I'm gonna just adjust her. I gotta be real careful about this line. I wanna get her over that berm quickly. Ellie. Whoa! Good dog! Good dog! She couldn't have done that much better. 
Now she's got to finish it. Good dog. That's a good girl. Did you see that? Good girl. Here, here, here. Wow, you look rough. Hold. Now, did. She literally barrel rolled through the ditch. Um, it's one of the things I really like about her is her enthusiasm. Um, she's a very different style dog than, than Taylor. Uh, when I send Taylor on that, you'll see a lot of thinking, a lot of work my way through it, very precise and, and Spry's a little bit more like Ellie and she's got more goal, but um, I like, I like, I loved her line. Uh, she did everything she could. She knew she had to get over the barrier. It would have been a lot easier for her to just take that wall and go with it. She knew she had to go over it. Now, she's got to figure out how to run under control and not get hurt. Like, she hit that, hit that wall so funny. She barrel rolled and flipped, but she got right back up and carried the line. So, um, all in all, um, no complaints. Like, that was, that was a real nice, it was real nice work. Now, I would like to send her and finish her out. So I'm gonna line her to this to no off. No, leave it, heel. I'm gonna spin her around and I wanna send her on this water. Yeah, if you wanna turn it that way. Spry, you come here and sit. Spry, come here. Spry, come here. Spry, sit. E sit, Ellie. Ellie. And this will be, this is going back to her last, you know, the water that we just did. Ellie. She's got great heart. Good girl. Good dog. Very nice. Good dog, very good. Very nice, hold, 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 did. Good, here, here, sit, good. I'm very pleased with that, sit. Now, what I'd like to do now, I think is, I'm gonna send Spry to the far corner, so, I don't know that I don't know that Spry will make that pick. I'm going to save that one for Taylor. Um, and to be honest with you, actually, I'm going to run Taylor first. I'm going to try to leave as few options as possible for Spry. If there's an issue or a mistake, I don't want her to get a reward. I don't want to have to have her connected with a dummy and me not being happy. So the smart thing to do for me right now is I've got one out there. Might as well get that one picked up. I've got two over here, and I've got one here, and I've got two over here. So my objective with Spry is going to be I want her to pick that one and that one, the two furthest away basically from each other. I want her to go back to that memory of the water. I want her to go to the far corner. But I'm going to leave it so that those are the last two dummies. I'll let Taylor pick the other ones. So we send her that way, and if she fades one way or the other, there's nothing there for her to get. So she only gets reward if she takes the right makes the right decision both on the water and over here in the corner so let's let taylor come taylor taylor good dog here and i i think i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to send her to pick in the corner first i'm going to tell her no on this one no on that one send her then i'll probably know her on this one send her then i'll know her on that one send her and then i'll pick the water then they're all that's left is one of each so taylor's gonna get one extra dummy is what it amounts to no leave it no leave it A lot of confidence on land with her, now, nowhere near the confidence in the water. Good girl. 
Now, the tough one is left in the woods, so Spry will have to hunt that one. Good girl. Good dog. But he, real, real clear the difference between sending this dog on water and on land. Good. Much more confident. So what does that tell me? Nothing that I didn't know. We don't do a ton of water work. Uh, should do more. Taylor, come here. He's not going to tell you you're good. We need to do more. Here. I don't do a lot of water work, and it's really clear. No, leave it. This one will be a little more challenging. Nope. Heel. Heel. Ready? 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 Taylor. Here. Here. Now, what did I not do? I made a pretty big mistake here. I know I said no leave it over here. I didn't say it over here and there is another dummy over there. So what did she do? She took the line, went to that dummy. I should have done this. No, leave it. Taylor. 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 Good. 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 She's cheating. Come on. Come on. I'm not gonna let her get away. I thought she was gonna take that far bank. No, come on. Come on. So she doesn't remember it. Come on. She doesn't remember it. So she's going off of some of her real old memory. We used to put dummies in the end of this field and this barrier. So I'm gonna move over and I'm just gonna change this angle. <clears throat> Come on. Good, good, good. Taylor, Taylor. Get out. Go back. Good. Cheated for her, helped her. Good. Now she's got to hunt the area. She's in there. Good dog. Good girl. Good. Good dog. Now, so there, if I want to improve on that, I could, I should do a drill with her. I should work specifically on angling across the berm and across the berm and do it over and over and over. And that's something that you make a mental note. Oh, look at that. Turn around and film that. Those are all wood duck, aren't they? So we just had a flock of wood ducks come land into the pond. How many are there? Three, seven? That's great training. Eight of them, huh? So all these dogs' attention Nine of them. Film the dogs quick, Ben. Good. Good. So, uh, it's why I love, it's why I love how we set this up for training. And this is just one of the examples of on this property of what we've got, but these birds are really using it. Now, it's even gonna be better when season opens. But, so that's perfect little building. Uh, we missed our sandhill cranes this morning, but 
um, back to Taylor, we could work on that lining uh, improvement. Now, I'm gonna have her pick this last one, which is easy, should be easy. Taylor, 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 good, good. Good, good, lost, lost, good girl, good girl, very good, very good right here. I'll let, and what I'm gonna do now is, did, good dog, I'm gonna let her rest. I've got two in the water, or across the water, and I've got one on the far end. She'll get a water later. And Spry will get a water in a little bit. But Spry has been very calm, Spry. Very patient for me. Taylor, you sit down, you're done. Taylor, come on. So now Spry is gonna get a shot. Sit. We have one in the water. I don't think she would, I don't know that she would take it as anyway, but I'm gonna get in this habit of no, leave it. And you can just see the dogs turn off of it. That's really important. And I have to realize it, especially with Ellie. Some of the times when I get on Ellie about picking the wrong dummy, not taking the right line, it's because I don't leave, I don't no leave it off of her and I need to. So now I need to get Spry to the left of that, that little clump. Um, what I'm really gonna do is just get her into the corner and let her hunt the area. This is very realistic. Natural game finding is what's gonna to have to happen because it's been a long time for her. She's the youngest dog. It's been the longest amount of time. Just send out of, out of confidence in the line, get her in the area, let her hunt. She may have to look to me and I'll give her a hunt whistle, um, but we gotta get her into that area and let her nose go. I'm gonna wait just a second. As soon as that, it's an airplane. As soon as that rumbling started, her head went like this. She hates thunder. Good. And so I didn't want to send her with that in the back of her mind. Cause that was, a, you could just see her whole body go un, uncertain. Good. Let her get, regain that focus. Good. Lost. There she got wind of it. Lost. Good dog. Good girl. So for her, maybe the challenge in that is as much the idea that there were bumpers here, there were here, here. There were bumpers down there. She had to run through the middle. She had to go through different types of cover. Come on, come here, hold, dead. So that, that may have been as challenging for her as anything. And I'm gonna go up for her. I, I don't, I'm not, I wanna make sure that this is successful. She had enough struggles with it. We got her to back up a little bit and go, but it took a, a few reps. So let's go right back to the very beginning with her. We'll take her right to the edge. Sorry, sorry. Good girl. And then I can back up. Good girl. Good. Nicely done, little girl. Good job. Come on. I'm gonna go all the way back to the blind area for that retrieve. Good girl. Good. Come on. Come on. Good girl, come on. Very good. Very good, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Did, good dog. Now when you get done with this session, I get done with this session, these wet dummies, come on, sit. I'll lay them all out to dry out right away. Um, now Taylor's gonna make the last pick. Taylor, 
And I'm gonna send Taylor from back here. Spry, come here. Spry. Spry. Sit. Spry, come here. Sit. You sit, Taylor. Taylor. Again, watch the difference between the send across dry land to the sends to the water. She's a little bit hesitant. The last time we sent her from here, she went on the left-hand side of that cattails. I got to the edge to make sure she wasn't gonna run the bank. If she ran the bank, stop her, bring her back, resend her. Watch, watch. Taylor. Taylor, 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 go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, good. Good girl. Good girl. If I gotta encourage her a bit, I will. Especially in this situation. We're, we're just applying things here and finding out where our chinks in the armor are. We, we'll go work on drills to improve these things. Good, lost. 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 Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Much slower working dog. Also one of the, one of the more solid dogs I have though. She'll always kind of bail me out of trouble. Good. Come on. Good, come on, come on, very good, ha, 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 come on, come on, good girl. Some of this stuff I do think it's boring for her as well. You put a real bird in the situation, it, it accelerates her motor a little bit as well. But, so that's it, I'm gonna call that a nice little session and, and really, just want to show you some of the things that I'm doing with these older dogs because we don't film a lot of it. Um, partially because we're just filming so much stuff with the younger dogs and I do think there's a lot of value in that. But we didn't have Cody today. We did the puppy. We're going to film some other stuff with the puppy here later. But I wanted to show you these three and this is really a, a way that we're going to start really applying skills to transition to the hunt because it's not far off, uh, we're mid-August, and you can see the wood ducks are already flying. That was, um, we hatched out a couple uh, uh, broods of, of woodies here in our wood duck boxes. Maybe that's some of them, I don't know. I like to hope that it maybe is. But uh, we're gonna start preparing to go from that transitional period where we go training to hunting, but I think there's a gap in between there that can't get overlooked. Um, and that's where some of this stuff is gonna start, start uh, for us anyway, that's where we're gonna start applying it. So good little session for these three, plenty of things to work on.